So my student, uh, we are studying the uh, IC engine. Today will be our last class on internal combustion engine. And uh, you all know. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, before you start, can I ask you a question? Can I? Can I ask you a question, sir? Let's do yeah, sure, uh, sure, sure. Sir, petrol engine, sir, uh, I would like to ask you a question, which is, uh, what, uh, what is the power stroke, sir? Can you explain us, sir, one time, if you have a time, sir? That about the power stroke? Yes, sir. Okay. That when the power stroke happens, that is the question? Yes, sir. Okay. So basically here you can uh, see from this diagram also, but I basically I discussed uh, uh, from the video, but still you can uh, understand from this. This is the basically the power stroke. The power stroke basically happens after the spark. You know that when the compression stroke happens inside the cylinder, the air and fuel mixture, that means the air and the petrol fuel mixture, the pressure is very high because it has been compressed. So the pressure is very, very high. And we also know that the pressure and the temperature is, you know, proportional. What does proportional means? That means if the pressure will increase, the temperature will also increase. So they will show the same characteristics. If the pressure decrease, the temperature will also decrease. So that means inside the cylinder, after the compression stroke, there is a huge amount of pressure and as well as a huge amount of temperature. But the question is, we require a spark plug. Why? In the last class I discussed why we require spark plug. Because the self ignition or the auto ignition temperature of the petrol is higher, is very, very high than the temperature available at that cylinder. So we need a spark plug to start the burning process. So spark plug, make the spark and after this spark plug, basically the power stroke happens. What? After the spark plug sparks, the fuel starts to burn. When the fuel starts to burn, my student, it creates, you know, heat energy. We all know that any kind of fuel, when we burn, when we, you know, ignite, it gives us heat energy. So, my student, this heat energy, we all know that the heat and temperature is also proportional. Heat and temperature is also proportional. If you increase the heat, the temperature will also increase. So that's why the temperature also increases as well as we also know that the heat, the temperature and the pressure is also proportional. That means the pressure also increases very, very much. So already there's a huge amount of pressure, but by the pressure from the fuel, this whole pressure gives a push of this cylinder piston and it gets the push and moves from the TDC to BDC. When it comes to TDC to BDC, that is the power stroke. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the sun also. Okay. There is no difference of power stroke in diesel engine and petrol engine. Only one thing is changed. What? That in spite of spark plug in the petrol engine, in the diesel engine, there is no spark plug required. In the diesel engine, after the compression stroke, the fuel injector spray the fuels, spray the diesel oil, and then it automatically starts to burn. And the rest of the things are similar like petrol engine. I hope you understand. Thank you. Okay, my student, today uh, will be the cycle. The cycle we are you know, going to discuss, that is auto cycle or also known as constant volume cycle. So you will see both, uh, you know, uh, auto cycle or the cycle for the petrol engine as well as the cycle for the diesel engine. So first of all, um, the petrol engine, we have to, you know, uh, 
we will discuss first then we will repeat the process for the diesel engine also my student uh, the petrol engine runs in auto cycle scientist otto has invented this engine and he has you know declared the cycle according to his name otto cycle but it is also known as the constant volume cycle why this is constant volume cycle when we will discuss um, in the diagram you will understand that why it is known as constant volume cycle first of all just give you a reminder my student that there are four stroke isn't it one is uh, the intake the compression stroke then the power stroke and finally the exhaust stroke but from this four stroke the main occurrence or the main thing happens between the these two stroke the compression stroke and the power stroke my student but in the intake stroke and the exhaust stroke in the intake stroke and the exhaust stroke do not you know have so much uh, occurrence in the intake stroke just the air and fuel mixture enters inside the cylinder and in the exhaust stroke just it goes outside from the cylinder so that is the thing basically happens in this stroke so this stroke two stroke is basically not so important for the cycle because um, there is nothing happens just the entering the fuel and you know exhausting the burn gas these two things basically happen so basically we can start the auto cycle from the compression stroke from the compression stroke and also you have already understand the ranking cycle in the steam power plant and um, my student the cycles are basically uh, the relation of pressure and volume and the relation of temperature and entropy or heat am i clear so basically we will discuss both both the diagram the pressure and volume diagram and also the temperature and heat diagram okay so first of all we will discuss the pressure and volume diagram and uh, uh, first you think that in the compression stroke what happens in the compression stroke basically how many students we have now only six I think other will join also. Uh, is there any problem on the sixth student right now? Can you listen to me, my student? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, my student, in the compression stroke, in the compression stroke, what happens? In the compression stroke, the piston moves from the down to up or from the BDC to TDC. Okay, so when it goes from BDC to TDC, my student, first of all, the volume was big. The volume was, you know, big. But when it has been compressed, definitely we know that the volume will be less you no know, volume will decrease volume will decrease and we also know that my student the p is inversely proportional to one by v p is inversely proportional to one by v okay so that means the relation between the pressure and the volume is you know inverse relation that means that if the pressure increase the volume will decrease so in this compression stroke the volume is basically decreasing that means the pressure will increase the volume is basically uh, decreasing that means the pressure will increase isn't it so you see that do we start from here you can make the marking and according to you they have made the marking it's not a big deal we start from here suppose this point this point we have started <clears throat> so you see that here the volume is decreasing 
and the pressure is increasing. This is the pressure cycle, pressure scale, or the pressure axis, and this is the volume increase, volume scale. So from three to four, you see that coming here, this is the now the volume. This was the previous volume. This is now the pressure, uh, the previous pressure. This is now the pressure. You see that the increase in pressure, there is an increase in pressure, but the volume has been decreased. From the three to four, the volume has been decreased and the pressure has been increased. One more time. From this three to four, from this three to four, it has been compressed. So compressed means the volume will decrease. You see that the volume here is not now this point volume, but this volume is here. That means the volume has been decreased. But in the pressure, you see that this was the previous pressure value. Now the pressure value is this one. So you see that the pressure has been increased. So this is known as isentropic compression, my student, remember. This is known as isentropic compression. Why? Because my student, the isentropic compression means that during this process, you know that the, in the compression stroke, during this process, all the valve, both the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are closed. You know that the both the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are closed. So that's why there is nothing, no heat. Isentropic means no change of entropy. That means no change of heat. So there is no heat comes inside from the outside or no heat goes outside from the inside. So that's why it is known as isentropic compression. So let me discuss in Bengali for this, this process for the one, one minute. This Compression stroke, a mother piston ta key, niche take a poor dig a travel corre, tena, is take over the travel corre, ebong a shomoi, a mother petroje yarebong petrol mixture as a sheta kihoi, compressed hoi, compressed homanolo, a volume, comejawa, a volume comeja, amrajani jes are volume ebong pressure, a mother shampurkoholo, inverse, ultra shampurko. Tamajokon volume comeja che, jokon volume to comeja way, tokon get the pressure bearer javana, tokon the pressure. Automatically, very job to calculate the co. This are the three pointed chilo, the pressure and volume macrocom chilo. The three take a four point against it. Talking into the volume come against it. Ebon, the pressure bear against it. Tickets to a process take a ball of isentropic compression. They can a compression hotse. But my student, the isentropic compression, a isentropic ball of car on hole eta is a show moita te compression stroke. Inlet bulb, a exhaust bulb, the table on the take a bonkono proker heat exchange hoina. By it take a cono heat petrashana, a bonk petro take a cono heat, by it is an agent, a cavalo is a isentropic compression. So, my student, this was the uh, the compression stroke, the first compression stroke. I, I will request all students to give your role in the chat box, everyone. <clears throat> so, the compression stroke, uh, this was the isentropic compression. Now, my student, after that, what happens when when the after the compression is stroke? Can you, any student tell what happens? Anyone? After compression is stroke, what happens, my student? Self ignition will be having that. Basically, after the compression is stroke, the spark plug makes the spark, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. The spark plug makes the spark. So this is very this is very crucial point. This is very crucial point. That's why the name also has been given as the constant volume cycle, my student. Remember when the spark plug makes the spark the fuel starts to burn isn't it the fuel starts to burn but when the fuel starts to burn we know that there is a huge amount of heat energy is producing a huge amount of heat energy is producing 
that's why we know that the heat is proportional to temperature the heat is proportional to temperature so when the heat is producing we know that the temperature is increasing the temperature is increasing also we know that from the gaseous equation of pv proportional to nrt we can tell that the pressure and temperature is also proportional that means when the temperature is increasing when the temperature is increasing the pressure will also increase isn't it because there is a huge amount of heat is has been produced by the burning of the fuel so the temperature is also will increase huge and also the pressure will you increase very much but all these things you know occurs in a very very short time my student you know try to understand very clearly all these things happen very short time so we know that the pressure and um, volume are you know inversely proportional so when the pressure is increased the volume should be decreased but this happens in a very very short time so that volume cannot you know react the volume cannot react or that short on that short time so the volume remains constant on that particular time a very very tiny moment the volume remains constant though the pressure has been increased very much so that's why you see that from 4 to 1 the pressure has been increased my student you see that from 4 to 1 the pressure has been increased but the volume remains in the same point you see that the pressure at the point 4 and the pressure at the point 1 that means the pressure has been increased but the volume remains same that means constant volume for this reason my student this cycle is also known as constant volume cycle is it clear and for only for this this region that uh, the volume cycle constant volume cycle also it is known for why the pressure increase the pressure increase due to the burning of the fuel let me discuss one minute in the bengali the jokhon তোমাদের বার্নিংটা শুরু হয় বা স্পার্ক প্লাগে স্পার্ক করা হয় তখন আমরা জানি কি প্রচুর পরিমাণ হিট উৎপন্ন হয় তাপ শক্তি উৎপন্ন হয় তাপ শক্তি আমরা জানি তাপ শক্তি এবং তাপমাত্রা কি একটা একটা পরিপূরক মানে তাপ শক্তি বাড়লে তাপমাত্রা বাড়বে এবং আমরা এটাও জানি যে স্যার তাপমাত্রা এবং প্রেশার বা চাপ কি পরিপূরক বা প্রপোর্শনাল সো যেহেতু চাপও বাড়তেছে তাপমাত্রা বাড়তেছে তাহলে কি চাপও অনেক বেড়ে যাবে প্রেশার বেড়ে যাবে কিন্তু মজার ব্যাপার হলো আমরা জানি যে স্যার প্রেশার এবং ভলিউম কি একটা একটার বিপরীত বা ইনভার্সলি প্রপোর্শনাল ব্যস্তানুপাতিক তাহলে সেই ক্ষেত্রে কি আমাদের ভলিউমটা কমার কথা ছিল না প্রেশার যেহেতু বাড়ছে কিন্তু ভলিউম এখানে কমতে পারে না এই কারণে যে এই যে টোটাল অকারেন্সটা খুবই অল্প সময়ের মধ্যে ঘটে এবং ভলিউম ওই সময়টার মধ্যে রিয়াক্ট করতে পারে না সো ওই সময় প্রেশার বেড়ে যাওয়ার পরেও কি আমার ভলিউম কি প্রেশার বেড়ে যাওয়ার পরে কি আমার ভলিউম কি তোমার কনস্ট্যান্টই থাকে মানে ভলিউম চেঞ্জ হতে পারে না ওই পার্টিকুলার টাইমটাতে সো এই কারণে এই সাইকেলটার আরেক নাম হয়েছে কি কনস্ট্যান্ট ভলিউম সাইকেল হোপ ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড সো ফ্রম 4 টু 1 পয়েন্ট মাই স্টুডেন্ট উই ক্যান সি দ্যাট देयर इज अ রাইজ ইন প্রেশার বাট দা ভলিউম ইজ নট ইনক্রিজড ওকে নাও কামিং ব্যাক টু দা পয়েন্ট দ্যাট নাও দা you know it is finished now the compression stroke is finished now next the spark plug is finished now the power stroke now the power stroke you know that in the power stroke what happens when the pressure has been rising so high so it, it will it will push the cylinder it will push the cylinder piston so the piston will move from top to bottom the piston will move from top to bottom so when it will move from top to bottom we know that the pressure will be, you know the volume will become bigger the volume will because the piston is moving you know downside so the volume inside the cylinder will get bigger one so when the volume is increased my student when the volume is increased that means definitely the pressure will decrease definitely the pressure will decrease but this process 
in, during this process, my student, both the valve, the inlet valve and the exhaust valve, both the valve are closed. Both the valve are closed. So there is no heat. It can go outside the cylinder in this process. So it is also known as isentropic expansion. Why it is expansion? Because the volume is increase, you know, increasing. Isentropic expansion. When you, you know, give air inside a balloon, it is increasing. That means it is expanding. Okay. So that's just like that, that it is known as isentropic expansion. So from here, point one, my student, point one to two, you see that this is isentropic expansion. And it is also, my student, you see that the pressure has been decreased. The pressure has been decreased now. But the volume, point one to point two, you will see that the volume has been increased. Clear? The pressure has been decreased, but the volume has been increased in this process. So during power stroke, during power stroke, the in volume inside the cylinder increased, but the pressure inside the cylinder will be decreased. Clear? The pressure inside the cylinder will get decreased. So this is the power stroke process. So after coming this, uh, you know, cylinder inside here, after coming the cylinder in the bottom, my student, then the burning has been already finished. Then it, it gives the heat. It gives out the heat. The gives out the out the heat. That, that means the temperature will be released. The heat will be released from this machine or from this engine. So at that time, definitely my student, when it will be released, it will be my student. Uh, the temperature will also decrease. The temperature will also decrease. That means the pressure will also decrease. But it, it also happens in a very short time. That means the volume remains constant. The volume remains constant during this process. The pressure will be decreased. So you see that the from two to three point, from two to three point, from two to three point, you see that the pressure has been decreased. This is the, point, the third point pressure. This is the second point pressure. So the pressure has been decreased my student, but the, you see that the volume remains constant. So in this auto cycle, the PV diagram, my student, in this first four to one process and two to three process, in this two process, the volume, you know, surprisingly remains constant. That's why it is also known as constant volume cycle. So that is the end of the PV diagram of this auto cycle. Now we can discuss to the TS diagram, the temperature and the, you know, heat diagram. This is very easy. This is very easy. You know that uh, we start from the compression stroke again. In the compression stroke, it is known as isentropic compression. It is known as isentropic compression. So you see that this is the scale of temperature and the Y axis is, is the, the more, you know, entropy scale. So it is isentropic compression. That means from three to four, there is no change of entropy. From three to four, there is no change of entropy. So the entropy A's value will remain constant. So in the compression stroke, we know that the volume decrease, then the temperature increase basically. So the temperature will increase, but the entropy will not increase because this is isentropic process. That means no heat. There is no change of heat. The DQ is equals to zero. That means no change of heat. There is no change of heat. No heat can enter inside the cylinder or there is no heat, no heat comes outside the cylinder. Okay, so my student, you see that the from three to four here, it is 
isentropic process, isentropic compression, but the temperature is increasing. The temperature is been increasing. After this, my student, after this, the spark plug basically happens. The spark plug basically happens. And from the spark plug, we all know that heat energy also increased and the temperature is also increased. The heat energy increased, the temperature is also increased. So from four to one, from four to one, you see that the temperature is also increasing. The heat energy is also, the temperature is increased. The heat is also increased from four to one. After that, the power stroke. The power stroke, we know that this is known as isentropic expansion. So the entropy will remain constant. And what is expanding, the volume is decreasing. That means the temperature will, volume will increasing, the temperature will decreasing, my student. So, but the, you know, isentropic process, that means the entropy will remain constant. So from one to two, you see that from one to two, the temperature has been decreased. This is the temperature T1, this is the temperature T2. So the temperature has been decreased, but the entropy will remain constant because it is isentropic expansion, clear? But after that, after that in the similar manner, when after coming this power stroke here, the heat has been removed. So when the heat is removing, the temperature will also decrease so both the value the heat and temperature both the value will decrease from two to three so this is constant volume heating at that time constant volume happens and this is constant volume cooling because in the you see that here from four to one and two to three in these two process the volume remains constant and in these two process the entropy remains constant so the, the total four of PV and TS diagram, total we call Otto cycle. Finally, we can find out the findings that there are four, you know, uh, stage. One is isentropic expansion. The second stage is known as constant volume heating, constant volume heating. The third is con isentropic compression. And the fourth one is the constant volume Heating. So this is the total four stage of auto cycle. So is there any question from my student regarding this two cycle or in any stage you can ask me. Is there any question from your side my student regarding this This is, this is not so easy thing. The diagram, the PV diagram and TS diagram is not so easy, but you have to understand why this, you know, um, the stage is looks like this. Is there any question from your side, my student? Sir, two to three. One more time. Sir, two to three, sir. Conditionative volume cooling, sir. Two to three. Okay, that means that a constant volume. Yes, sir. Cooling. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me let me go to the previous slide first. That two to three. That means my student, you are talking about after power stroke. After power stroke, my student, when this cylinder the piston is here, the cylinder basically release the heat, release the heat in the atmosphere. Because, you know, it has already been, you know, a huge heat energy available. So basically, it released the heat. So when it released the heat, that means that, you know, if, I, if you represent the heat Q, it will be decreased. So Q is decreasing. That means temperature is also decreasing, my student. The temperature is also decreasing. Because both are proportional. Q and T are both are proportional. So temperature is also decreased. Okay, so my student, when the temperature is decreased, you can see that the temperature is decreased. That means the pressure will also decrease. The pressure will also 
uh, decrease. So you see that here in the PV diagram, the pressure is decreasing, but the volume is not changing because this happens in a very short time. So the volume cannot react within that short time. So you see that the volume is remains constant, but the pressure is decreasing. But in the TS diagram, the constant volume cooling, the both the things are you know decreasing the heat is decreasing the temperature is also decreasing that means both the value has been decreased you see that here the temperature is also from t to three it has been decreased then amount of heat from two to three it is also been decreased so in this two to three process it is constant volume process when the volume remains constant but pressure has been decreased and in the ts diagram both the heat and the temperature both becomes less or both is decreased. Is it clear, Ralph, right now? My dear student, is it clear right now? Yes, sir. It's clear, sir. Okay. Is there any question from other student? My student, please don't hesitate. Is there any question from the other student? Abdul Qadir. Kaniko, is it is it clear to everyone? Can you hear me, my student? Yes, sir. We are here, sir. You know, okay. Is clear, okay, this is this was the you know the um, four stroke petrol engine. Now coming back to the four stroke diesel engine, everything is similar, my student. In the four stroke diesel engine, you know that everything is similar except in the one place. In the four stroke petrol engine and the four stroke diesel engine, we know that everything is similar except one stage where uh you know that my student that in the spark plug in the spark plug it makes the spark but in the diesel engine there is no spark plug available isn't it in the diesel engine there is no spark plug available so for that reason my student on that spark plug place there is a fuel injector in the diesel engine on the spark plug there is a fuel injector so that fuel injector after the compression stroke it sprays the fuel at a constant pressure it sprays the fuel at a constant pressure that's why the diesel cycle is known as also constant pressure cycle the diesel cycle is known as also constant pressure cycle please you can take some note that Petrol cycle is known as constant volume cycle and the diesel cycle is known as constant pressure cycle because at the fuel injector basically it sprays the diesel oil at a constant pressure. So my student here after coming to point one, two and two in the diesel cycle you know that in the petrol cycle it goes upside it goes up, upward that is constant volume but in the petrol cycle in the pet, uh, in the diesel cycle it is not the constant volume it is constant pressure so that constant pr pressure remains constant and from 2 to 3 from 2 to 3 it is constant pressure you see that the pressure remains constant the p2 and p3 both the point the pressure remains constant but volume is increasing why because inside the cylinder now the fuel injector sprays the diesel oil and total amount of volume will increase definitely because at before there was only air inside the cylinder but now the diesel oil is also increasing the volume so the volume has been increased the volume has been increased but my student the pressure was constant why because the diesel has been you know 
sprayed inside the cylinder at a constant pressure by the fuel injector. The fuel injector sprays the fuel at a constant pressure. That's why it is the pressure is constant and the why the volume has been increased because at first inside the cylinder there was only you know there was only the air but now it is also the diesel oil is also inside the cylinder so the overall volume will also increase so that's why it only you see that there is only one difference in this position and this is known as constant pressure heating or heat addition whatever you tell that the two to three it is only constant pressure heating but otherwise all the process are same similar as like petrol engine and diesel engine even the ts diagram is exactly same the ts diagram is exactly same for the pv diagram and uh, for the petrol and diesel cycle but the in the pv diagram there is a small change in the petrol engine it was the constant volume and in the diesel engine it is the constant pressure that is the change and that's why the auto cycle is also known as constant volume cycle and the diesel cycle is known as constant pressure cycle is it clear my student and where is the difference you see that both the diagram are same exactly same both the diagram are exactly same here only after coming here this is constant volume so this goes upside the pressure increase the volume is same and in the diesel engine my student in the diesel engine you see that after coming here it is not in the pressure is constant so you see that the pressure value is constant but the volume has been increased from v2 to v3 due to the volume of diesel oil and otherwise everything is same like the petrol cycle is there any question from my students regarding these two cycle no sir it's clear sir have you understood the difference between the diesel cycle and the petrol cycle Is it, is, it, is it clear that what is the difference, my student, and why it is constant volume cycle and constant pressure cycle? My dear student. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Do you know what you're doing? Yes, sir. Do you know what you're doing? Kadir. Okay, that's it for uh, today's class. If you have any question regarding the yesterday class or, you know, about any question regarding the IC engine, you can ask me, my student. If you have any question regarding the IC engine, you can ask me. Do you have any question, my student? Sir, engine is a question for the question, sir. হ্যাঁ তোমা আমরা আমরা যে লাস্ট তিনটা ক্লাস করলাম আইসি ইঞ্জিনের উপর ঠিক আছে এর মধ্যে যদি তোমাদের কোনো क्वेश्चन থাকে সেটাও করতে পারো না স্যার আপাতত নাই স্যার আচ্ছা ইজ देयर एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम মাই एनी ফরেন স্টুডেন্ট নো क्वेश्चन স্যার ইট ইজ ক্লিয়ার মাই স্যার স্যার হ্যাভ ইউ আন্ডারস্টুড एवरीथिंग यस স্যার Okay, so on that note, I will tell you, my student, please try to study this topic very well. This is very important for your final exam. And uh, I have already given the class lecture, the video lecture. Have you got it from the Google Classroom? Yes, sir. In the Google Classroom, I have uploaded every video and uh, also the class lecture. So I will tell my student that please everyone try to collect those video from the Google Classroom and study well. Okay, my student, if you do not have any question on that note, uh, thank you so much and see you in the next week, okay?